Your father niggas. You. Fuck you. Daddy bastard. Just doing my thing. Look at that bastard is telling me niggas. Or father niggas. There are some certain people that you take for, for slave trade, not everybody. It is the error of our forefathers that makes some of us to be taken as slaves, but not everybody. There are some lineage that are different, and everybody knows that. Even though you've tried to generalize that nonsense. We are only complaining and taking no proper actions. Now, for example, when this guy had to this way insulted me, if I am like some people, I will ignore him. Good. Ignoring him is very good. But now I will now say it, continue broadcasting it. Maybe you'll make videos started saying that every Austrians are racist. And which is not true. It is this guy is stupid. This guy is the bastard. Not everybody. So it is better you face who is bullying you or who is insulting you and sort out the situation with the person directly. And this is an opportunity for me to express what I think about any kind of insult of this kind anywhere in the world. If you are an African, a black man. Now, I'm just walking on my own, just making my, doing my thing. This guy just started insulting me, shouting this st stupid name. There is no one, there is no race on this planet that has not suffered slavery. There is no race on this planet that was not conquered. When your empire falls, you are conquered and you are enslaved. It is also in the Bible. Everyone, every race on this planet have been enslaved. So don't allow anyone as an African to be able to take this nonsense anymore where you are. In my Lutu travels, I have seen, I've learned, nations upon nations have been a slave. I have learned, for example, countries that have been a slave for 500 years. Nobody's talking about that. Countless histories I can make mention of. People, tribes, you know. So don't allow anybody to try to belittle you or to diminish you in anywhere in the world. Because everyone, everyone have history. Forget about what they try to make in the mainstream media to try to make it more popular. Don't give in to that nonsense. I'm telling you, don't give it to that nonsense. We should avoid Hello. playing victim. We should avoid playing victim. When you got insult, insult that person back. You say avoid going to the street. If you are attacked, defend yourself. If you are attacked, defend yourself. Don't allow anybody defend yourself until people that that authorities that be able to support you to, to protect you should be around there or your people your like-minded people that can be able to protect you come around don't always give in to this kind of nonsense if you want to fight and die fight and die you are an hero you because you defend your dignity and your rights we should not any little rats, even rats, rabbits will come and say, we insult you, you started shouting, uh, this person is racist. What kind of racism? Racism is everywhere. 
it is just because of the mindset of some stupid people or some evil people so don't make that to stop you every country that is bad there is evil i had that experience here right here in salzburg but it is not a problem why because if you got insult insult him i faced him and the guy ran away i faced him and he ran away he's insulting me i insulted when he see that i give it give it back to him it's nonsense he ran away so you should stop like shouting okay we have been shouting uh, the government should do this the people should do this the people should do what are they doing did you see any change when someone tried to bully you and you stand up it will be over even though he beat you at the first the second time when he wanted to attack you he will think twice because he know that you have the courage to stand for yourself you don't know when he will started losing the fight so before you know he will stop that bullying it will be started respecting you since i started uh, become a man this thing has always been there the first time i always hear about this is in in the stadium of football when our footballers, black footballers, have been discriminated, insulted, or whatever, they throw you banana or whatever. If they throw you banana, take the banana and eat it. If they call you monkey, call him monkey, because monkey is everywhere. And there is all call of monkey. We should be avoid, we stop, we should stop playing victim. Because when someone bully you and you play victim, you give him more courage. So when someone bully you, stand up to him, look straight to his eyes. So look straight and go blow for blow. Word for word. If you come physical, defend yourself. Because nobody will defend you. How many of our brothers and sisters that have, that, that have been killed and died in all over the world? This is a very sensitive issue, but I'm, I, I will have not shared it if this does not happen to me right here. This is a young man of my size. He tried to intimidate me and I stand up to him. He ran away. When I look at it, I like, when I turn, I stand. He started when I give him back that fuck you. You two fucking slave. You fuck you slave. Niggas, you, you are the you are slave. Fuck you. And they run away. Stand up to your right. Start, stop playing victims. So we should stop black people. Stop playing victim. Work hard. We should work hard. Build our states. Build our life. Build our legacy. Write our stories. Rewrite the narrative. Write our own narratives. Our stories. We have a lot of things. A lot. We have totally gifted. One of the bravest and the wonderful people in the world. So we should not be intimidated by brainwash or bullied or belittled by anyone. Now, to wrap it all, you as a black man, every black man that you are watching, black man, black woman, black boy, black girl, every person, as a black person, you should know that everything in this world originated from us. Be you scientist, be you invention, be you school, be you philosopher, whatever thing you name of, it is from us. The world, we are the owner of this world. Before every other living being generated from us. Don't allow anyone to intimidate you. We should stop playing victims. Because there is no race that has not been enslaved under the sun. So we should not be brainwashed, manipulated anymore. Stand firm on your being. Make research about yourself. No, read about your true history, not the one the, the wall of the, the wall is sharing with you. Look, go and make research. Read about it. Don't only listen to what I say. Don't only believe what I say. Make research about it. This guy gave me the opportunity to be able to share this message. I was on my own, just walking down, doing videos, doing my thing. And he just insulted me. And some other people making some funny, but that those ones, as long as it's not like direct, this guy was direct, so I go with him direct. I go direct to him. So 
When I go direct to him, he walk away. He saw that, oh, this, this is a different person. He walked away. He ran away. If someone call you a slave, you call him slave. It is the one the world make known to the world. It is the one they like to make known to the world in order to brainwash you, to belittle you. But if you don't give in, it is over because we give in to it. So I am urging every black person to never ever give in to that nonsense anymore. If they call you name, you call them name. If they respect you, you respect them. And we should stop playing victim. We shall work hard, build our, our, our state, build our countries, build our life, make great things happen for our people, for our children yet unborn. So that our children should not even come and partake from this nonsense. So it is me and you until we change this mindset. And uh, this is the way. No, 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 no. This is the way the thing. No, 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 no. no. Doesn't mean something have been last for so long. Doesn't mean it, it, it is right. No, we should not accept that. So I'm right here walking around in the beautiful city of Salzburg doing my thing and this happened to me so I decided to share because most of us whenever I see sometime in the media or news or from friends or from close friends or like or from family members concerning these issues it hurts me when someone tries to come to intimidate to stand up stand up so we should stand up for ourselves we have been waiting for so long uh, the government should do this the government no government will do it if we don't start having that mindset already change the way we do things change our mindsets our way of thinking you are dying someone is attacking you you close your hands waiting for someone to come to help you stay there how many of our brothers and sisters they have killed some that can even be able to defend themselves, don't defend it. Even though you defend yourself until die, die and go. You are a hero. You are a hero. Even though nobody sees, you are a hero. And your spirit being, your, your, your spirit being is blessed for me. For me, I don't care, it's blessed. So stand up for yourself, don't fear, don't be scared of anything. Look, David destroyed the Goliath. So which, which other Goliath is here? Man, another man or another woman is intimidating you and you're giving in. Nonsense. Which is not even up to the size of, of Goliath. Read about the history of this wall, of your people, not the one because they are history and there is the real history. So look for the right history, the right one for you as a black person and the real history of this world and you will know that you have been blind for so long even some people that don't know that is hurting ignorantly whenever you read the study about the true history of this world you will know make the effort to know your true history be yourself don't allow anyone to dictate you stand your ground know your rights know who you are because if you don't know who you are, someone will dictate you, someone will direct you what you have to do, will tell you what you have to do, what you, you don't even really want to do. To do what you don't even really know about for their own interest. So we should learn to know who we truly are. We feed the world. The world depends on us to even to breathe, to live. Everything originated from us. We should know that and revolutionize our mind, update our mind, because we need real mental revolution. We have been lied and feed with fake news, fake histories for so long. So don't allow anyone to belittle you, to diminish you, or to intimidate you. Never. Don't allow that anywhere.
no matter where you are, no matter the state you are, it is a lie. You as an, a black man, you are not a poor person. You are not a poor person. It is a lie. If how come you are a poor person that the world feed from you, live from you, so you are not a poor person? It is a misconception and it is an, a big error for those who even are running the affairs of our nations. So always have confidence, believe in yourself. Never allow anything, no matter where you are, to stop you or to intimidate you or want to toy you around. This is what I have to say. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos. As I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye-bye.